All right, so today I'm going to be using uh, Max for Live's uh, LFO devices, and I'm going to be applying them to a series of parameters uh, on the Max for Live drum synth hi hat. Um, the objective is basically to get more of a human feel out of the hi hats. Uh, I think that's sort of one of the hardest things to, to manage when you're using MIDI is basically getting that that human aspect in unless you're playing things out. So to start with, I've got these uh, hi hats here, which are just on sixteenths. Here, pretty sort of dry sounding hat. Close that one down. Um, I think the first parameter to think about is when a drummer was playing, they have a pedal on the hi-hat. So depending on how much pressure they're putting on with their foot, they get a different decay out of that hat. So we can then use uh, the LFO device and map that straight to the decay on the hi-hat. Okay, you can see that moving around there. And then we can sort of start to play with the offset a little bit. Now I've also gone ahead and set an LFO to that offset as well, so we can change that parameter. So we start to get a range of how that's playing. Um, I think the next thing to think about is when a drummer's playing hi-hat, depending on where the stick hits the hat, you're getting a sort of different timbre, different brightness, depending on if it's closer to the bell or closer to the edge of the hi-hat. So I've also set one somewhere here to the tone parameter of the hi-hat. It is quite subtle though. Um, I'll just bring the rest of the drums for a moment. Um, the next one is swing. Swing's a really big thing as far as getting feel out. So we can just go ahead. I've already um, put uh, chosen my swing here in the groove pool, and I'm just going to turn the timing up to 100. And then I've mapped over here. We've got the global groove pool here, the global amount we can see up here as well is being mapped. So if I turn that one on, we start to get sort of like a push and pull between like a shuffle and a swing. Um, <laughs> That's starting to feel better. All of these parameters you can sort of just do to taste. Um, I think the final two ones I've got set is I have a gate. So the gate is side chained um, to the kick so that we start to get a bit of a relationship between what's happening with the kick and the hi hat as well. Um, but I've taken the hold and mapped that to a MIDI device as well. So turn that one on. Cool. Something there. Cool. So those are a few uh, different ways in which we can get heaps more feel out of something that originally started as just something really straight. There we are. Uh, and then in the context of the whole song. Now there's actually um, no reason that you only have to use this for rhythmic things. Um, you can see here if I open this one up. I've also set a whole bunch to uh, this synth here, this lead synth. <laughs> So looking over it, we've got sort of um, the MIDI length of the actual note, um, the way that the uh, two oscillators are feeding into each other. We've also got things like just a slight bit of stuff on vibrato and also one on the velocity. So depending on what notes are coming in, uh, they're being played at different velocities and then we're getting different sounds as well. <laughs> 